In this video, we're going to have a look at vector pathways. We're going to have a look at the journey you can take and how you would describe it in terms of other vectors. Now, a vector is just a set of instructions for a journey. And you'll have an X component, a Y component, and a Z component if you're working in uh, three dimensions. Now, the journey you take is irrelevant, really. What's important when it comes to the vector is the start point and the end point. Um, if you take it as a three-stage journey and somebody else takes it as a four-stage journey, when you pull all your components together, the set of instructions will be exactly what will take you there directly. And so what's important is the start point and the end point. So we can describe a vector or a journey in terms of um, smaller uh, vectors. So here's an example of the kind of thing that you could face. Um, you've got a trapezium where the side DC is equal to twice the length of AB. Um, you've also got the vector AB given to you as U, and you've got the vector BC given to you as V. And M is the midpoint of the side going from B to C. Now what we have to do is describe the vector from A to M. Now the vector from A to M is just you going from A to B, and then you're going halfway along from B to C. Okay, so you're going up like so. Now, all you have to do there is just say, well, the vector from A to M is going to be the red part plus the green part, so it's going to be U, and then you add on not V, but half of V. Okay, so it's U plus half of V. Okay, for the journey from A to D, what you're doing is you're going from uh, now, what we should say is because A to B is uh, U, um, you're told that the journey from uh, D to C is twice the length of A to B. So we can say that this journey here, going this way, would be for U. Okay? And the journey from B to C of course, is V. Okay, so from B to C, that's V. Okay? <clears throat> now, we want to go around in this direction. Okay? So, we're not going to use for you. We're going to use negative for you because we're going that way. Okay? So, we're going to have U plus V minus for you. Okay, and that would be your answer. So the journey from A to D could be done by taking the vector U and then adding on the vector V and then we're taking away 4U. And once you've done that, what you can do is tidy it up because what you've got there boils down to V minus 3U. Okay? Now here's another example. You're asked to describe the journey from R to P in terms of F, G and H. Now, from R to P, first of all, um, you can't go directly and describe the journey, so we're going to have to take the scenic route. So if we go from R to S, and then if we go from S to T, in that direction, and then if we go from T to P, like so, we can then start describing the journey. Now, the journey from R to S is the same length as the journey from T to Q, but it's going in the opposite direction. So the journey from R to S can be described as negative G. Okay? So we'll say that the journey from R to P is negative G. And then we can say, well, the journey from T to S was F. We want to go from S to T, so that's going to be negative F. And we then want to go from T to P, so it's going to be plus H. And that's U, okay? The red vector plus the green vector plus the blue vector takes you from R to P. And you can't simplify it any further, so that's your final answer, okay? Um, if we have a look at this, um, and we are told that uh, the journey from H to G is uh, 4 times EF, um, so, if we want to go from H to G, we can see we're going in that direction. It's the same direction as the journey from E to F, 
So we're told that it's four times the vector from E to F, so the journey is just going to be for A. Okay? If we want to go from E to G, then we're going to have to go from E to H, and then we're going to have to go from H to G. Okay? And H to G is 4A. So we would just say, well, our journey can be described as B, and then we add on to that uh, 4A. And that takes you from E to G. If we want to go from E to N, E to N is as going from E to H, and then we're only going to go halfway along from H to G. So E to N would just be you taking you back that B and then adding on if HG is 4A then HN will be half of that. So we're adding 2A. And that's as done there. Now if we want to now look at the same trapezium and consider the journeys from F to G and G to N and M to N F to G we're going to go that away, and then we're going to go up like so, and then we're going to go across like so. Okay, and remember this is just the journey 4A. Now, the green part of our journey, we're going in the opposite direction to vector A, so it's going to be negative A. We're then adding on B, and we're then adding on 4A. So you get your three sections of the journey, and that all simplifies to give you uh, 3a plus b. Okay? For the next one, we're going from g to n this time. Now, remember that the journey from n to g is going to be uh, 2a. So because we're going this way, it's going to be negative 2a. Because the whole thing from h to g was 4a. So the journey from f to g is just negative 2a. Okay? So for the journey from m to n, we already know that the vector from f to g is 3a plus b. Okay? We already know that the journey from f to g is 3a plus b. Now, if we're going to go from m to n, what we're going to have to do is go down like so. Then we're going to have to come across like so. And we're going to have to go up like so. And then finally we're going to end up at N. So that's us going to be going uh, along like so. Okay? So we're going to go along these directions and see how we get on. Now, first of all, the journey from M to F is half the journey from G to F. Okay? And because we already know that uh, the vector from F to G is 3A plus B, that's going in the opposite direction to what we want. We want to do negative a half of 3A plus B. Okay? Because it's half the journey from F to G, and we're going in the opposite direction. We're then going to add on the green journey, so that's going to be minus A. We're then adding on B, which is going to be your red journey. And then finally, H to N, and that's going to be uh, plus 2A. Okay? Now, if we tidy all that up, we end up with negative 3A over 2 minus half of B. And this tidies up to give me plus A plus B. Now, if I tidy all that up together, I get negative a half of A, and as for the Bs, I get plus a half of B. Okay? So that's how you would deal with vector journeys. So see how you get on with these examples yourselves. You've got a parallelogram, PQRS, with the vector PQ being U, and the vector PS being V. So try these questions yourself in uh, your own time. Pause the video and check and see if your answers match up with what we've got. Okay? So, let's look first of all at the journey from Q to 
R. The journey from Q to R takes you uh, along like so, in that direction. And it's exactly the same as the journey from P to S. It's a parallelogram, your sides are the same length and they're heading in the same direction. So we just say that our vector is just V. The journey from S to R takes you along like so. You're heading in that direction, the same exactly as the journey from P to Q. So we just say that our vector is U. Okay? And the journey from P to R takes you uh, up like so, and then along like so. So what you've got is the vector V being the blue part, plus the vector SR, which can be described as U. So that's the journey from P to R. Going from Q to S, uh, what we're doing is we're going up like so, from Q to R, and then we're going from R to S. Now, this red journey, we can describe it just as the vector V. The blue journey is the same length as the journey from P to Q, but we're going in the opposite direction, so it's negative U. So her answer is just V minus U. Okay? Now, the journey from P to M, um, we are going, if you like, halfway along the journey that would take you from P to R. Okay? So it's important to notice that the journey from P to M is half of the journey from P to R. Now that journey from P to R would be you just going along vector U and then up vector V. So we just say that it's a half of U plus V. Okay? And that's U finished. Okay? You could write it as U plus V all over 2 if you wanted. But that's the journey from P to M. And finally, the journey from S to M. The journey from S to M is just half of the journey from S to Q. <coughs> okay? So we just say the journey from S to M is half the journey from S to Q. And that journey from S to Q can be thought of just as uh, coming down like so, and then coming along like so. Okay? So the green part of our journey is going to be described as negative V, and the red part of our journey can be described just as U. And you can finish that off <coughs> and just say that it's a half of U minus V. Or you could say half of U minus half of V, or whatever. So that's how you would um, tackle a vector pathways question. Um, what's important is the end point and the start point, and you don't have to worry about the route you take, because the components will boil down to give you the direct route from start to finish. So I hope that was helpful.